The King Tiger is an unstoppable monster, so what does it take to bring it down? Well, today we're gonna mix things up because I downloaded a bunch of Total Tank Simulator mods that are freely available on the Steam Workshop. And we're gonna put them to the test. Can any of these cursed monstrosities bring down the infamous King Tiger? So let's begin with, uh, yeah, this will be interesting. Trust me, it gets worse. Put your predictions in the comment section. Let's see how he does against the King Tiger over there. Okay, um, I'm not sure what's okay. I thought, okay, the King Tiger was, wait, that's not a normal King Tiger. Okay, so the Tiger 2 is officially broken. We're gonna use the Tiger 1. If this boat tank actually kills the Tiger 1, I'm gonna be very upset. Wait, hold on a second. Why is the Tiger 1 not firing? Why won't you shoot? Okay, oh, there we go. Wow, he took one shot and just absolutely deleted this guy. He's so almost dead. If you could just do me a favor and just shoot one more time. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Why would you not fire on the enemy? Ah! So it would seem like the Tiger 1 has also been customized. We're gonna scroll all the way along here until we find the lever. And we're gonna just hope this hasn't been customized. Please, just work. Whoa! Oh! I missed it! Oh my god, he killed the enemy straight away and I missed it! The lava is now gonna be the, like, the, the benchmark. That's what we have to destroy. This time, we're gonna take a look at some new Soviet tanks. And of course, they're going to be fighting the lava. We've got the 1000 TP. If this thing has got insane reload or... No, okay, no, no, no. It's just a normal tank. It's just a normal tank. So, nobody technically has defeated the Lova yet. And next up, we're trying the big T-34. Okay, it flies. <laughs> of course it does. When I start the battle, is it gonna drop to the ground? Let's- Oh, it does as well. Would you- Let me try it against an IS-2, like a legit IS-2. And if it one-shots this, then we've got a problem. Okay, let's... Okay, no, it doesn't one-shot. Okay, these might actually be legit tanks. I think all the other tanks I was using were just very, very weak. Although, it does still nope. seem to do a lot of damage. Oh, all right then. I still... I think it is still legit, though. So, you know, we're gonna... We'll carry on. But let's get a change of scenery. Once again, the now-confirmed-to-be legit lover will be spawning over here. And what's the next vehicle? We've got Stalin's nope. Dream. Oh, my God. I don't even know. Why did that just happen? Well, I guess we'll see if these guys can kill the lover on their own to make sure it's a fair battle. Place your bets in the comment section. Who do you think's gonna win? Wow. Who would have guessed it? Let's put down a bunch of Stalin's dreams and see if they all just kill themselves right away. I'm gonna start the battle. Brilliant. Stalin's dream is... It's not a great dream. Uh, oh my god, they might legit kill it. I don't believe it. If they kill it, I'm actually gonna be furious. If they actually kill it... No! That did not just happen! Okay, let's try a desert map. Obviously, we need the Germans, but this time, let's see what the USA can bring to the table. Let's try the M4 Tiger. That's more like it. This might be one of the worst things I think I've ever seen, but is it strong enough to take down the Lova? Let's find out. Let's see what this guy's... He's taking- oh, okay, okay. If at this point you're losing the will to live, then it's a shared experience. I challenge you to watch more of the video to see if it gets any better, because it can't get any worse. Dag Gatling, though. That sounds like my kind of- Ah, oh, now we're talking! Where have you been all my life? This is exactly what I wanted. Please win the battle. Now, before we start, I'm very- I'm optimistic, because look at the amount of ammunition what? this thing is carrying. This suggests to me, it could be a fun battle. So let's find out. Ah! What the? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, it did not disappoint me. I'll be honest, I was not expecting that, and it killed itself after the battle, which is extra respect. It's D Rata versus Dag Gatling. This is going to be a fascinating battle. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! I, oh wait, hold on. He's still going. He's still going. No, come on, come on. It's actually gonna be a. Oh, it's a last second clutch. I don't believe it. Dag Gatling, make more tanks like this. In fact, actually, if you want to make a ridiculous total tank simulator tank, I'll do another video of this. Put my name in the mod title so I can find it. Just whatever wacky, ridiculous, interesting ideas you've got, make it. 
So, where did we leave off? Yeah, it was Da Gatling. Let's see, what is new unit? Creative name, I like it. What about... Oh no! Let's put down, oh no! And new unit at the same time. And we'll see if they can 2v1 our German opponent. Uh, neither of them are shooting. Have they? Oh no. Is this really gonna happen? Okay, he's decided he's gonna start moving. Good decision. Oh my god, he's not even gonna shoot, is he? He's... No, they didn't kill him. And I think that was all the modified American tanks. So let's go on to the British. What's a panda? You know what? I'm not convinced the panda's gonna kill it. Let's put down six pandas. I'm not entirely sure what classifies these as pandas. Then again, I probably shouldn't be asking too many questions. It's got a turret for a weapon. Okay, well, that's one down. Oh, they do have weapons. They are getting one hit though. And where's the last victim? Oh, he's, he's just around the corner over there. So... Uh, six pandas just got murdered on YouTube. Oh, fantastic. I've actually broken the game. I literally cannot get rid of this infantry. The BFVB. I'm gonna put down two of these. Why does that one look so low res? Okay, let's see if the low res or the high res tank can defeat the lover. Well, we're about to find out. I'm honestly so confused why the infantry actually plays the game. I literally cannot get rid of it. Also, what is this? Why has this happened? It's the same vehicle as the other vehicle. But for some reason, it's just got zero textures on it. I'm beyond confused. I can see the guy's feet through the turret. Has the other tank been murdered yet? Yes, it has now been murdered. Okay, it's just all down to the low res crusader. Ah! He's done it! He's only gone and done it! Low res for the win! Okay, let's have a quick look at the rest of these. Okay, excellent. You know what? I'll try a couple at the same time. Yep, nothing to see here. This is exactly how tanks are designed. Has he even fired a shot? I don't know. The Lova... What's his health on? Oh my god, he's actually gonna lose. I've just had another great idea. At the end of the video, I'm gonna do a free-for-all where we put all the most cursed tanks in one big battle. And we'll see who survives the longest. Now for the betrayal. Let's do Germany against Germany. And of course, we're gonna do a bridge battle. Let's step things up just a little bit. The new contender is going to be the P-1000 Rata. Because attacking the P-1000 Rata, we're going to have lots of whatever these are. There's a dog. There's an actual dog. Okay, I'm not sure this is gonna look like a dog if I'm honest with you, but well, you know, we'll try it Let's see if it looks like a dog and that is not what a dog looks like definitely not what a dog looks like Let's try five dogs against the p1000 rata You know what we're off to a really good start because they didn't all just explode as soon as the battle started I, Yeah, I, I never have understood why the pumpkins in this game are literally larger than tanks But then again, that probably shouldn't have been my first question and more to the point. What is this? Uh, Well, they're, they're not dying as fast as I I thought they were. Oh, they're about to be crushed to death. Oh my god, the P1000 Rata is about to murder a bunch of dogs. It's gonna flatten them to death. This is a, uh, well, rip that guy. There's only one dog remaining. Yeah, all right. I think, I think that's all she wrote. Why would you drive towards him? I will never understand that decision, okay? The dogs died. You know what? We're gonna spice things up even more. We're gonna do four German teams. Okay, so the E200 looks relatively normal. Obviously, so does the Lover. However, uh, yeah, that's a vehicle. And uh, this is the this is the next one. This is I just don't like this. Right, let's see who dies. Okay, that is a pretty serious rate of fire for a King Tiger. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, but he's dead, and uh, it's now down to the Lover versus the horrible Barbie tank. And the horrible Barbie tank's gonna take the victory. Okay, let's try it on this map. And let's put them all in really close proximity. It's a battle royale in total tank simulator. Except I'm not sure you can really call these tanks, to be honest, can you? Wow. It's a helicopter. We have the this, the lover. We also have a helicopter. And then we ha I just, I, let's just start the battle and see who. Oh my good lord. Well, I think. Huh? I don't believe it! The Lover just won that! He just got, like, the final one tap at the end! I want to see if the same thing happens. We're going to specifically watch the helicopter. All right, here it goes. Oh my god! Is he actually going to get one tap to get- I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The Lover's got the one tap again. That is outrageous. Okay, well, clearly this deserves a win then because that was a balanced and fair battle. But the competition is pretty big this time. Let's see if the Super Tiger, the German KV-2 or Darth Vader is up to the challenge. Oh my God, the Super... Okay, yeah, so it turns out that actually really is a Super Tiger tank. I did not see that one coming. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're stopping. We're going to the free-for-all. All the tanks from every... 
every single team in a giant death battle. Let's get started. So to make sure it's fair, we're gonna use the flat map. We're gonna do a free for all. Now we haven't seen any of the Polish, French, or Italian vehicles. So let's do that. And then we'll just put like a placeholder one in here. We're gonna have the less important nations battle first. I can't wait to see how many people that triggers. So the reason we're doing this on a flat map is so we can spawn all the units at the back so they're like equally spaced apart. So for the Polish team, God, there's a lot of them actually. Hey, this is so many tanks. This is ridiculous. Let's see how many the Italians have. Yes, okay, these are custom. Oh my, why does he, okay, I place him there. And he goes over there. Okay, fine. They've got those vehicles uh, against these ones. Okay, here's what we're going to do, actually. For the Polish, just to balance it, I'm going to remove all the ones that don't look like custom tanks to give the Italians a fighting chance. Now, let's go over to the French. A crazy French tank. It's not just a Renault FT, is it? Oh, good lord. Okay, no. Yo, these are some of the most interesting tanks to do, actually. Look at this. That actually looks interesting. Notice I didn't use the word good. Yo, hold on a second. Why have the French got a flying tank? Oh, is it literally just a french flying that's exactly what it is it's just a french flying tank okay sound now the germans we're just gonna put down one infantry because they're not supposed to be in this battle he's gonna go there and i suspect he might not be surviving very long down oh he survives longer than i thought he would wait there weren't this many italian tanks oh was it because there were multiple italian tanks within the one italian tank that might actually be what's happened there the italians aren't gonna win this are they there's no way also look in the background Lero! <laughs> Jenkins! So the Italian tanks appear to actually have somehow beaten the Polish there. They've taken two casualties. How overpowered are these things? Uh, yeah, the Italians are opening fire. But I guarantee you, one of those French tanks will be horrifically overpowered. Nah, the Italians are taking casualties now. And there's a lot more French tanks entering the battlefield. Let's see how these guys can do. The guy behind him is using him as a meat shield. And there we go. The French tanks have managed to bag the victory there. That was a reasonably good performance, all things considered. Now let's go to the main event of the evening. It's a free-for-all with the Germans, the USSR, the USA, and the UK. Again, the rules for this battle will be the same. I will only be placing modified vehicles. And I mean visually modified. I don't just mean the gun shoots fast. I mean, it's got to be... Except I might make an exception for Dag Gatling. Because, come on, we've got to make an exception for that. There's not going to be a whole line of these. Oh, there is. There's a whole line of just horrifically mutated panther. Oh, that's exactly what this is. This is a lot of customized German vehicles and absolutely none of them make any sense whatsoever, especially the, the dog at the end. Right, the USA. Okay, so the Americans are going to have a much smaller line of vehicles to fight the Germans with. Uh, but then again, they do have Dag Gatling, and uh, he means business. Now, the other 1v1 is going to be the USSR versus the UK. Stalin's dream, yes, the one that just explodes right away. So we've got um and flying doom to add to the equation. So let's do that. Now, the final thing we've got to place is the British disasters. And we've got plenty to choose from. So there we go. I think that is it for the British tanks as well. And who could forget this one here? The Brits will be fighting the Soviets over here. And on the other side, the Germans will be fighting the Americans. You know what? The Germans are definitely going to win this. Ah, uh, yes, Stalin's dream has exploded straight away and the flying tank has now entered the battle. Let's go see what just happened to the Americans. I don't believe it. Dag Gatling was actually defeated at his own game. The battle has lasted for nine seconds and the Americans are all but destroyed. Excellent work, everybody. Oh, tell you what, though. Flying doom is coming in to further Germans. Please be ridiculously overpowered. Oh, he's not. He's not really overpowered at all. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that anti-aircraft gun, bro. The Soviets have been almost entirely destroyed by the British. Uh, the only slight difference being that the Germans have got quite a few. Although, I'm not sure what they're doing. What do you reckon, lads? Mm. All right, then. Germany wins. Now, there's only one thing left to try. In fact, maybe two. Maybe two. And trust me, you're going to want to see this. First of all, it's going to be the Germans versus the French. And then it's going to be those ridiculous tanks against like 100 P1000 Raptors. Let's see. Here we have the French vehicles and here we have the Germans. The points are actually relatively even and the quantity of vehicles is about the same. Now it's going to take these guys a little bit of time to get into battle so in that time we can review the horrible monstrosities. These French tank mods are actually genuinely not awful. Like some of them look like they could have been tanks. In fact a lot of them do. Whereas when you compare 
compare that to the Germans. Is this the murdering, like, savage that just keeps spraying everyone down? No, it's this one. It's this guy here with a pea shooter. I wish that this guy was the most powerful tank in the game. This would be, this would be a redemption arc right here. But then you see what's directly behind him. Yep, it's actually the Death Star. Tell you what, boys, how about I lead the charge into battle? What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well, that's what could go wrong. Right, who has got the most overpowered vehicles? So far, it's looking like the Germans do. Unless the French have got some magic up their sleeve, then I think the I think they're all gonna die. The only way they can defeat this vehicle is with a with a ridiculously Oh! Maybe they do have an OP one of their own! This guy here is absolutely dumping rounds. I don't believe it. I Oh, he's been destroyed. He's been destroyed. Yo, it might actually just be a legit tank battle now. I think the OP ones are being killed. Is this the last tank left for the French? He's chasing him. He's actually being hunted down by a French tank. I don't... Oh, they killed each other. Who wins? It's a draw. <laughs> what an anti-climax. So, who would win in the battle? One Tiger 2 or like 50 Mouse tanks? Sorry, it's a P1000 Rasa. Those are not Mouse tanks. Also, I think this guy is gonna die. I think he's... I think he is... He's, he's not got the range. That's his main difficulty. Oh. oh, he's lost his machine gunner. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, that's enough of that video. Subscribe, I dare you.